Why, hello there. It's been quite a while since my last video, and I apologize sincerely for that. Um, I have been getting angry messages and people knocking at my door with pitchforks, asking me to post another video, post another video, or maybe they said stop posting videos. I, I can't remember, but anyways, here goes. Um, I guess a lot has happened since the last time I made a video, um, and there's and you you've probably heard some of it on my blog. Um, and one of the nice things is that uh, since I was finishing my schooling, or since I finished it, I've had more time to work on other projects like making latex and baking and stuff like that. So I had to bake something for um, some. Uh, for something at work today. So, instead of going through the whole process of uh, showing you the directions and how to bake and this and that, which is all kind of silly, I admit, I just wanted to show you the end product right here. So this is an apple spice cake. You can look up the recipe on MarthaStewart.com. Um, it has, I, I like the website, whatever you think of Martha Stewart. I like the website because it has really simple recipes. Um, that are usually not too expensive to make. Like they won't ask you to go buy um, ten vanilla pods, and they'll just say, "Just use whatever vanilla you have. It doesn't have to be a vanilla pod." Um, even though, admittedly, it does taste better. So, anyways, other than that, like I said, I've had more time to make latex things, and um, you might be wondering a little bit about this wacky outfit that I'm wearing right now. So. Uh, basically, I have a friend that's visiting from the other side of Canada who is um, also a latex maker, and he's coming over during Halloween, and we thought it'd be really fun to go out um, together as like a duo for Halloween. I'm not going to tell you exactly what we're dressed up as, that'll be a secret. See if you can guess, but um, I'll show you what I'm wearing today. And I've made all of this myself, uh, most of it I guess, except for the leather work. Um, so to start, we've got this little um, hoodie right here. So as you can see, there's a hoodie. So we've got um, here we go. There's a hoodie. That. Okay. Let's get my hair. <laughs> and um, I, the red in this uh, hoodie, it's a very thin latex, um, 0.35 millimeters. Um, so you can see it's very stretchy and it clings quite. Uh, a bit to the skin. Uh, I ran out of the red, so I added this black down here, and this black is a, a thick 0 0.6 millimeter latex, so um, you can, I don't know if you can see, it's like, it's a, a different kind of texture, or not texture, but um, feel to the thin stuff above. Okay, so that's nicely this top, like so. Um, I was pretty happy with how this turned out. I, I'm getting pretty good at making these little sleeves and stuff, so that's kind of good. The hood was a pain to get on, and I'm still not very good at doing that, but there you go. One thing I made was these red gloves, and as I said, I ran out of that red, so I have a different color red here. Um, these gauntlets were, the general design was given to me by um, Twitter user Shiny Creature, so thank you very much for that. And I added these little like metal stripes because it's like, pow, I'm going to beat you up, right? <laughs> no. Um, uh, anyways, so this is going to be part of my outfit. See if you can guess what this is. Like I said, we're going to be a duo, so maybe it should be obvious, maybe not. I don't know. Um, it isn't a like well-known cosplay or anything like that um, type. Thing. It's not like I'm going for a specific anime character because I would never have the guts to pull that off just because I don't have that attention to detail. Um, but it is a well known character just in general. So hopefully that helps. Leave in the comments if you can figure it out. Um, so, right, we're going to have a great time for Halloween. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, other things that are, are going on, um, I guess. I I guess I briefly wanted to talk about um, <laughs> my hair, actually, and some of you who know me understand that I'm a little bit obsessed with my hair. And it's not that I spend a lot of time on it, but sometimes I do, and 
just I play with it a lot. Um, uh, but I'm quick in the morning. It, it's just to do things like coloring it. I happen to spend a lot of time. I go to a school uh, to have it done because it's cheaper for one, and it's also it's kind of fun to chat with the students there because they're scared a lot of the time, but sometimes they're um, keen on doing something new and different. So that's kind of exciting. Um, anyways, I I got the blue done because it was for that photo shoot in Seattle. And it was actually dyed with a different color blue at the time, so it didn't show up at all, and I was really disappointed. Because um, I was in the salon for like five or six hours, it was ridiculous. Um, I have like really dark hair, so they had to bleach it for a very long time. But on top of that, the student didn't really use the right formulation of bleach, so it just kind of sat there without very much bleach for a very, very, very long time before the teacher was like, mm, maybe you should put some more bleach on. Mm, makes sense. So anyways, she bleached it to almost a like blonde, very pale blonde color, basically as bleached as you can get. And now, all the hair that's blue here, it feels like really like weird and straw-like. I imagine that's like what white people hair feels like. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, and then they added the color. Um, this color is one that I added myself after the fact because the original like platinum color faded away to nothing really quickly. Um, and adding it myself was actually really quick. Um, so the thing I like about how they did it was that there's all this like black hair on top, so you can uh, just cover it up quite a bit um, if it's a more professional environment. Not that I care much about professionalism, but um, if you just like push it down, there's actually you can see a lot of blue in there, which I kind of like. Um, so it just depends on how you decide to do your hair. Um, if I like. If I like brush the other side, for example, and there you go, the blue is a lot more prevalent. <laughs> it looks so emo right now. Um, anyways, there's my hair, there's my funny latex outfit. See if you can guess um, what I'm trying to go as for Halloween, and also, um, I think I just did like a Sailor Moon power <laughs> thing right there. Anyways, um, I'm going to stop. I'm really tired. Good night. Have a great day. Bye.